Hi there, today we're looking at two Odeons in Norwich, the latter of which was morphed into a Hollywood cinema. One of the original Odeon theatres built for Oscar Ducha's Odeon Theatres Limited chain, the Odeon in Botov Street, Norwich, opened on the 7th of February 1938 with Jack Buchanan in The Sky's the Limit. This Odeon boasted over 2,000 seats. The architects were Basil Herring and Harry W. Whedon. The projection and sound equipment was all supplied by BTH, British Thompson Houston, and the manager was Mr. Newbury. The city was already well served, they say, with screens at the time of the Odeon's arrival, but this building was indeed impressive. The facade was flat and was built of brick, with a large central panel covered in buff-coloured tiles. The rather simple yet extremely impressive exterior did not prepare the patron, though, in any way for the architectural marvel that awaited them on entering the auditorium. Inside the auditorium, seating was arranged for 1,246 in the stalls and 808 in the circle. There was a highly decorated grill on each side of the proscenium opening which caused many a gasp as patrons filed in. This gem of an Odeon fell victim to commercial interests and was closed by rank on the 26th of June 1971 with Telly Savalas in a town called Bastard. The building had been sold to a property developer and was demolished. That Odeon stood on a much sought after piece of land in a fast developing shopping area. It's a shame though that scant regard was paid to just how impressive the building actually was. A tale that will no doubt be repeated as we look at more of 1930s built Art Deco cinemas as we go along. But that Odeon was replaced by a new Odeon that had been built and opened in 1971 on the Anglia Square shopping centre. So now we move on to Odeon Mark II in Norwich, which later became the Hollywood Norwich. Built during 69 to 71 as part of the new Anglia Square shopping centre, the new Odeon was opened on the 8th of July 1971 with Burt Lancaster in Valdez is Coming. The cinema, designed by local Norwich architects Alan Cook and partners, stands on stilts on top of the shopping centre. Built in concrete and with its exterior glazed with glass, the auditorium is reached by stairs and along glazed corridors. Inside the single-tier auditorium, the 1,016 seats were arranged on a stadium plan with a raised stepped area at the rear. The walls were covered in drapes and the large screen was 48 feet wide and 20 feet high. At the time, it was the largest screen in the area. The Odeon won the 1971 Quigley Award for Cinema Design, awarded by the American trade journal Motion Picture Herald. But the Odeon was closed by rank on the 29th of October 2000. And then along came Trevor Wicks, a local cinema entrepreneur who bravely took over the building, adding the site to his circuit, which included Hollywood cinemas in Lowestoft with four screens, The Empire, The Windmill and The Royalty in Great Yarmouth, Deerham Cinema, Fakenham Cinema, Hollywood Ipswich, leased from the Corn Exchange, and Hollywood in Burson Edmonds in what was once and would be again The Abbey Gate. Rebranded Hollywood cinemas, the Odeon building reopened on the 2nd of February 2000. It was converted into a triple-screen cinema in the same year, with 442 seats in the former front section, screen 1, and two 195-seat screens located in the former raised section at the rear. This successfully and intentionally retained the very large screen. Now let's look at the projection equipment. In screen 1, a Victoria 8, a dual 35 and 70mm projector, with a super length lamp house. Screens 2 and 3 had Cinemechanica Victoria 5s. Screen 1 also benefited from a rare Cinemation pegboard automation system. Screen 4 was later added in the old foyer bar area and was equipped with a Westar projector. 
During the almost 20 years that Trevor Wicks owned the former Odeon, his showmanship skills were continually in evidence. From the opening night gala to the impressive stunts for Star Wars and even persuading Steve Coogan to hold the world, yes, the world premiere of his film Alan Partridge, Alpha Papa, at Hollywood in Norwich. Because his alter ego, Alan Partridge, worked for Norwich Radio. But sadly, it was reported on the 7th of February 2019 that the Hollywood cinema circuit had been put into administration. Two of the circuit cinemas, this one, closed on February the 9th, 2019, and the royalty, the Hollywood in Great Yarmouth, closed on the 7th of February 2019. The Hollywood Norwich remains closed at this time, September 2021. The Hollywood Great Yarmouth has been totally renovated as the new ARC or ARC four-screen complex and that opened in 2020. Cinemas in Dereham and Fakenham found rescue buyers immediately and remained open under new ownership. Technically, the Hollywood Odeon Norwich is still standing and so may not be lost forever. Who knows what tomorrow will bring. That's about it for this one. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe. That helps me a lot. Till next time, as always, be good to each other. See you soon. Ta-da.